On a warm summer's day in June 1904, the steamboat The Morning Star pushed away from the landing dock here in Nashville, Tennessee and headed up the Cumberland River. On board was a small group of explorers setting out to find land. Among them was Ellen White and her two sons, Edson and Willie White. Steering the boat was helmsman Will Palmer and beside him was Ed Sutherland educator, innovator, and missionary trailblazer. The group was on an expedition to find suitable land to build missionary training schools. These training schools were designed to deploy workers into the deep south of the United States. On board, Sutherland and his partner McGann had just quit their jobs at Emmanuel Missionary College in Berrien Springs, Michigan, in order to embark on this new venture. When they were a few miles out of Nashville, the Morning Star broke down right near this spot. Providentially, they had broken down on the edge of the Ferguson Nelson Farm, a large but unpromising spread of land near Madison. Ellen White convinced Sutherland and Palmer to go and see the land. Sutherland was reluctant. He had seen the land before and was less than impressed with his rocky and barren terrain. Ellen White, however, was adamant that he needed to go along and he grudgingly obliged. When they got to the land, Ellen White told Sutherland she had seen it in vision and this was the land they should purchase for the training school. Sutherland's heart sank. He protested that it was far too big and far too expensive to be considered, but Ellen White remained adamant. This was the land. They spent an entire day in prayer, wrestling with God and pouring their hearts out to Him. They laid out all their challenges, the $12,000 price tag, the fact they had only half that amount in their pockets, the deplorable condition of the land and the scanty facilities available. They laid it all out in prayer. They begged God for help, for courage to move forward in faith, in obedience with the divine counsel. As they prayed, they were filled with such peace, assurance, and courage that from that point forward, whenever they faced challenges, they never doubted that God had called them to this place and to this work. After some haggling and cajoling, Sutherland and McGann purchased the Ferguson Nelson property for $11,000 and took over possession in October of 1904. The school, which they named the Nashville Agricultural and Normal Institute, opened its doors to students not long after, with a cohort of just 11 students. Sutherland and McGann's unique vision for the school incorporated several different aspects, including a school, a sanitarium, and a farm. It came to be known as the Madison School and operated as a self-supporting organization and sought to train, equip, and deploy self-supporting missionaries. Years later, when Adventist Layman Services and Industries, better known as ASI, was formed, it too embraced these same core values, mission, innovation, and self-sacrificing commitment, all driven by an empowered and well-equipped laity. At the heart of the Madison model were a few key principles. The importance of faith in God's word and sacrifice. The importance of innovation and entrepreneurship within the context of mission. And the importance of an empowered and engaged church membership readily sharing Christ in the marketplace.